The fun part comes in organic chemistry when you get to play with the models again. So just, you know, and if your teacher doesn't have these, you say, um, hey man, you get, go and order some stickies and bollies. I want to play with some stickies and bollies, man, because this is the fun stuff right here. So what's that? One carbon, carbon's in black, right? The four hydrogens, and that's going to be methane right there. Yeah. And so ethane, well, there's ethane right there. And ethane is going to be, now look, if you, if you put the hydrogens right next to each other, since they don't bond with each other, but they will repel each other, those two protons there in the nucleus, you kind of turn it a little bit, and that's a preferable way of being able to show this molecule. So uh, ethane, two carbons, right? C2H6, right there. That's a nice look. Now, what's the shape again around a methane molecule? Remember the bonding unit? That's going to be a tetrahedral with 109.5 degree bond angles between the hydrogens there and there with the carbon in the center, right? So what's this shape right here? Look, don't freak out about it because really there's a tetrahedral around that carbon right there. If I hold those hydrogens there, can you see that right there? Can you see that right there? There's a tetrahedral around this carbon here, but then there's a tetrahedral around this carbon here. So it's two tetrahedrals. So you call bi-tetrahedral or di-tetrahedral -tet or something. Don't worry about it. It's just two tetrahedrals that make up ethane. Now, um, what's that going to be? Yeah, that's right. One, two, three. That's propane right there, right? So there's your... Okay, now it's an ethyl group that is ready to attach as a branch onto something else. How clever is that? Um, now, and I wanted to make sure that you remember this too. How about boiling points? <clears throat> remember that when two methane molecules come together to form a liquid or a solid, well that, you know, and, and that can happen, of course, because these gaseous molecules, and by the way, methane is a gas normally, of course, at room temperature, you have to cool it to about negative 184 or so degrees Celsius to get it into a liquid. You can get these molecules to bond intermolecularly, right? And that's going to be because the protons of this molecule attract the electrons here and vice versa. That's called London dispersion force bonding. And because these molecules are nonpolar, all equivalent 109.5 degree bond angles, right? That means that this is going to be a, uh, a substance that, since it's nonpolar and nonpolar, bonds through LDF. So, they can come together to form liquids and solids, and we know that the more protons and electrons we have in a molecule, that means that we are going to have stronger LDF force, which means when two ethane molecules bond together to form a liquid or a solid, they're going to form a stronger bond, and subsequently they're going to have a higher boiling point and a higher melting point. When you get to propane, like propane has a, a boiling point around, well, it's a, yeah, let's see, it's around in the minus 40s or so, but methane is around negative, like I said, 184. So that's a, so if you had a, a temperature at about minus 70 degrees and you had propane and ethane in that environment, propane would be a liquid, but the methane would still be a gas until you cooled it to negative 184. So remember that you have to understand that that as you increase the number of protons and electrons, just making the molecules bigger, really, in terms of carbons, you're going to increase the boiling points and the melting points. When you start to add on oxygen later, too, as a, a part of an organic molecule, then we start to make polar molecules, which are going to have even higher boiling points.